Oh, look, we got a converted ambulance. Hi, this is Susan, and this is Fantails Stories from the Road. While I was at Descend on La Sierra, I had the pleasure of touring a converted ambulance. Come along as the owner, Happy, shows us this awesome conversion. So I was walking around this morning and I, I came across Happy. He was in his uh, converted ambulance and he's like, come on inside, let's check it out. So uh, sweet, we're gonna, we're gonna take a, a little tour. I'm really excited about this. This is Happy. Uh, What's up everybody? Happy. Ha uh, this is my ambulance. Um, I built it in about January. We started working on it to get it done. We had a huge freak storm, storm in uh, northern Arizona and it got ruined so I had to tear it all apart. Oh, no. And this is a rebuild and it came out so much better. I'm glad you guys are here to see it. I'm so proud of it. Please come inside. Oh yeah, let's check it out. Thanks for having us. First things first, I mean, this is a cool sign here. And Willow is the name of your dog, right? It is, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's uh, 13 years old and has been my road dog since I've been on the road, so. Oh, that's beautiful. On the ceiling, I ended up doing um, the cedar. I don't know if you can smell it. I can't smell it anymore. But it's the quarter inch cedar planks. And then I did regular pine shiplap on the walls. I repurposed the lights. These are actually the lights that were in the ambulance. They had upgraded them already to LED, so it was very fortunate. So I got to use those nice. and keep them on the original switch, mm -hmm. which I think is kind of nostalgic too. Oh, that is, I, if, if given the choice, yeah, I think you made the right one. That's yeah, you can control cool. them all and dim them bright, whatever you want to do, you know. Yeah. That was a cool thing. I, I drove ambulance for a long time. I'm a retired firefighter paramedic. Oh, you are? Yeah, so. Oh, so this is perfect. Yeah, I was like, I, I know how to drive those things. Like, yeah. let's go. How do you do on parking? Or is it is it pretty straightforward? Um, or? You know, I would say somebody who didn't have experience driving them might be a little intimidated at first, but it does fit into a parking spot. You're close to each line on both sides, but it fits. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. That's good to know. It's because, super stealth. Like mm -hmm. if you're in a parking lot. Okay. Like camping, stealth right. camping, not so much in a neighborhood. Yeah. Because every cause neighbor people comes are over. They're like, oh, is so-and-so okay? And I'm like, uh, yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> I'm just camping here. Yeah. yeah. This is great because it's so much wider. You have so much more space than, say, a Sprinter or a Promaster. Yeah, so yeah. the inside is actually the same width as my Sprinter van was from outside of each mirror to mirror. Oh, wow. So this is a, the bed that's up here is a platform bed. It's a queen size, and I still have, like, six, eight inches at the head for storage for storage yeah oh yeah i see that that's great so i ended up getting like a little um a book lamp okay so because i you know your your switches are over here so you're in the same boat i am mm -hmm. i don't want to get i'm so lazy i don't want to get out of bed know, to turn right? off the lights so uh i did that and it works pretty well yeah that's a good idea yeah i might have to do that yeah i really like this too happy where did this did you oh, do this that actually um my fiance had that forever and she passed away I'm and sorry uh, to i that. I didn't know where that went, and as I was getting rid of storage to start living full time in it, yeah. that popped up. And oh, I was she's like, with you then. Yeah, so I boop, stuck it right there. Oh, I love it. It's yeah. like perfect when I come in, I'll see it. Yeah, absolutely. That's wonderful. I like that a lot. So, and these are the original uh, like cabinets. cabinets that they are. Were in the, yeah. The ambulance. So this had this bank here. The at the foot of the bed, there's another bank where the head of the bed was at the same width all the way to the floor was just giant cabinets and i thought it was going to be a quick easy job to tear them out which it, it kind of was but I, I once i got the wood off it was all aluminum welded i was like oh man oh. i'm gonna have to do some cutting and grinding oh yeah so how long did it take you um a couple hours just to yeah. just to get the frame out so it was probably two days to get the whole cabinets out wow you just had to dig in and you yeah just, and it was just get through this it was new to me like i didn't know what the proper cutting tools were okay. the aluminum is soft so some of the cutting wheels work some don't um so ultimately it was just like a jigsaw or, or not jigsaw hacksaw yeah um Saws all Milwaukee, just cut it Doesn't right out and then grind it. Pretty much like the way it is with van life or this kind of lifestyle. You just you're learning as you go. Everything's learning yeah. as you go. When I show you my garage, you'll see that I carry a lot of tools with me. Yeah, and you've I got to. And I help a lot of people. Like when I come to events, like oh, there's a lady over there. Her fan quit working, so we troubleshot it and got it working for her. And 
another van the she had hit something with a tree branch or something yeah. and it was coming off so i fixed that for her and then well so i was around here yesterday happy and my friends cody and lisa were like you gotta go check out happy's um vehicle and i was like oh i'd love to but you were helping somebody with their rv so oh I was like, yeah i didn't want to bother you i was like i'll come back so yeah that's awesome yeah you i was something. underneath the rv trying to yeah. figure out where a leak was coming from <laughs> it's fun though you know yeah. it gives us something to do out here my little kitchenette i'm pretty oh. proud of that thing it's got a nice deep sink in it oh and that, do you use the top as a cutting board yes or, oh yeah. and it has a drying rack in there and everything so that was kind of neat and then these uh these pill and stick tiles work great from Amazon. Oh, they're just, oh, they're just, okay. But they're like the 3D printed. And this is a thing that intimidates everybody about an ambulance build. Whoa, what's going on in there? Exactly. <laughs> Holy moly. So. Is this just, do you use a lot of this or is it just well, decommissioned? It's, a lot of it is, it works, but like the lights on the top are blacked out. Okay. So if anybody gets an ambulance, look on the inside of the door i'll show you you can find the builder uh -huh. and you can call them they'll send you the wiring schematics they'll send you the oh that's like great like idea. two weeks into it i asked my friend like should i call them he's like you know who built it i mean well the great thing is it's, it would take you so much time if you tried to work it out on your own yeah even yeah. though it's super like it's labeled so well mm -hmm. and all the wires are in a bundle and run through the center which is so helpful too just knowing and, and seeing what each relay did yeah. and stuff, that helped out a lot, you know what I mean? So. But do you think it's easier having this pre-existing or starting from scratch with nothing? Um, As far as electrical, you mean? Yeah. So my buddy that helped me build it, he just got another one, mm -hmm. right away just stripped all the electrical out. Okay. You need to know where your alternator wire comes yeah. and your batteries and that's about it. Okay. And then what relay is, if you want to use any of the dash switches um, to like isolate back here. Uh -huh that's that's about it it's so oh, simple wow. so and these were just home depot cabinets that just happened to be the right size and we built the face around it so i love the cabinets and when you were showing me the sink i also love your faucet oh thank you uh mine is uh just basically a stainless steel it's okay. not a whole lot to look at it's functional but yours is beautiful and, it, like and it it's super functional too like it has a button uh, to yeah, turn and, on the water and the vegetable sprayer too yeah yeah so i can leave great. the water on and it won't run until i hit the button nice so it, it saves water too so absolutely which is huge yeah like i try to conserve as much as i can yeah and then I just have a Dometic fridge right here in the where we used to keep our drug boxes. Oh, when you were driving it yeah. for, for real. All right. So what I, one of the unique features about it too, and I, I kind of joke with everybody about it. I'm like, oh yeah, it was an easy decision to get. You want to go up there, Mochi? Want to go up there? Yep. Yeah. have to help her now. She's too old. Oh. But uh, I joke with everybody. This was a game changer. Get to get my beers from oh, the Oh, hey, outside. look at that. That's huge. Yeah, it worked out so well, I mean. So that's kind of like, you know, uh, in a lot of builds and in my van too, there's a door you can pull out from outside, from the rear. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like this, but you have like access to almost anything you want to put up there and your fridge. And it's nice, and... like I, I put my um, tool batteries up there and stuff so yeah. they're not getting beat by the sun. Oh, that's a good idea. Controlled yeah. environment. Yeah. And um, like I said, when I hit that lock button, it locks everything inside and out, so I don't have to worry about anything That's getting nice. stolen or anything. That's but the majority of them have. I pretty, love this. I love your doors. A pretty primitive like closing system, but it works so good. Like it, it keeps things from blowing up closed. Oh, heck yeah. it, you know, it helps you open them. And this is my solar compartment, so I've got three uh, 115 amp hour AGM batteries with the Zamp solar mm -hmm. controller. And I got two panels up top and I Wait. needed one more to finish the system. Where are you going to get that other one I from? I won it last what? night. I was so, so stoked. It made, I was so happy. Like it was ridiculous. You, um, I'm glad that you brought that up because I was there last night and I got it on film. Did you really? Yeah, I got you. Winning I, it. Everybody I was so cheered. excited. Like I was sweating. I'm like, come on, say my name. Say my name. And then he said, I was like, yes. All right. So you got two, um, you got two on the roof right now. And with that extra one, how many, um, It'll How be many 300 watts? watts. Nice. That's so, going to be huge. That's, yeah. One per battery. Oh, you'll be set I'll now. I'll be set, yeah. Right on. Well, I'm congrats so on that again. Yeah. Um, I collect a lot of stickers from people I meet and stuff. This was a... Uh, um, you tell me? Yeah, what you tell me about that one? That one is from a Navajo gentleman. He saw me on the reservation. And on the on my, my other van I had, I had mm -hmm. Geronimo. 
okay. with woke life on his knuckles, which is kind of controversial. Mm -hmm. But my friend, the artist, he's from San Carlos Apache, and he actually got permission from the elders to use it. And I also got permission to, I'm the only one that has permission to use it on my vehicle. So it's going to be a wrap on the other side soon. Oh, well. that's exciting. Yeah. And so. what tribe uh, are you associated with? Uh, Mascalero Apache. Yeah. Is that from around this area or is that New area, Okay. Yeah. And you're you're living in Arizona or I not do. living? You live in the, yeah. the ambulance full time? Uh, uh, July I'll be full time again. Oh, yeah. okay, so great. I'm stoked. Yeah. And then uh, all the exterior compartments too was another huge thing we talked about. This one has like my generator so I can run that AC up top. Look at that, guys. I carry my uh, medic bag just in case. I'm I'm worried somebody's gonna run to me with a real emergency and delay treatment. So since I was a medic, I just, I'm like, I can help until we get an ambulance there. I think that's a wonderful idea. So, yeah, uh, I was kind of worried about that, but. Oh, that's great, Happy. I love and it. And then uh, the garage, I love it. A lot of stickers, got mm -hmm. some sand stickers. Oh yeah, you gotta get the stickers. Yeah, and then uh, I use uh, Unistrut Look or Super tools. Strut for the bed frame. Right here, it's like what electricians use when they run their wiring and and there's so there's no legs to get in the way it's like an erector set and i bolted it into the studs and the walls and so that gives you enough stability you don't have to worry about having any other supports and... yeah nothing at all oh that's really nice and then uh i found these little lights i don't know if people are into this kind of stuff but it just sets up there with a magnet no, and that's great. i've gone down dirt roads they haven't fallen off they're usb rechargeable Nice. I've had them three months, haven't charged them once, they still work. On off button or motion sensor. So back here it's perfect at night. I open the doors, they turn on they automatically. Turn on for you. That's great. They're only like 20 bucks for a pair. And I was like... It's amazing what you can get now as far as lights go. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. So that's kind of like all my hiking gear or you know my mountain bike fits yeah. in here with all these tools your still. hydration pack your, and yep. your bike. I saw your bike out front. Yeah. yeah, I ride that thing everywhere. Do you? I love it. Have you gone around the loop here? Huh? No, yeah. I've done everything yeah. but the loop. Oh man. I see people doing it, I'm like, I gotta do it. Yeah, I saw the kids whizzing by the other day. Yeah, and I'll show you my little utility closet yeah. as well. That'd be great. So this is just kind of another catch-all compartment. Oh, yeah, okay. Right on, just like, you know, to keep your recycle and stuff until you find a spot for yeah. it. And, yeah. Do you, do, sorry, do you mind me? What's up, Abby? What's up, buddy? Okay. So this is like the utility closet. Yeah. <laughs> it's got my 25-gallon water tank. Um, propane tank. This is your water tank down yes. here. Oh, I've never seen a rectangular water tank like this. Yeah, and the way it lays down, so well, a lot of people are used down. to like a box or... Absolutely. And um, then this is a five pound propane tank? I think it's a three pound actually. Right on. But it, it works, you know what I mean? It does everything I need. I did yeah. have a Truma Combi uh, hot water heater and furnace combination unit. Mm -hmm. It had so many like restrictions that I just, I was like, I need simple. Yeah, no, I like so I got the Chinese diesel heater. How is that working I, out for you? I haven't hooked I, it up I, yet, I, but okay. um, I also got the propane hot water heater tankless. Oh, look at you. And so now it's an outside shower. And once I call, cut the floor pan inside, you can just reach it through the oxygen hole there yeah. and grab the shower and shower inside. That's one thing, uh, one of the regrets I have on my build that I should have just sprung for the shower. Yeah, like all the lights are blacked out, but it came with the shore power connection. It's a 2001 Ford E450, so it's the van chassis. Um, it's two wheel drive right now. It'll be four wheel drive hopefully next month. It's got a um, 7.3 liter power stroke diesel motor with only 50,000 miles on it original from the it wasn't used as a transport unit it just went to fires so it actually had that awning already and they would set the awning up they would set up um you know benches tables gatorade and so when the firefighters would go into the fire they'd come out and have a place to rehab so let me get this straight this is a 2001 it's only got 50,000 original miles on it hasn't been rebuilt no nope, it's it's amazing. Like, I was beautiful. so blown away. I had to go get it. You uh, know? Why Why wouldn't you? And I uh, won it on an auction online. I'm so happy that you guys came to check it out. Uh, thank you for taking the time to show show us and walk us through it all. Um, I've never seen an ambulance convert it and this was a pleasure. Uh, yeah, you've got a sweet setup. Thank you Absolutely. So uh, and again, congrats on that solar. 
Get yeah. that baby hooked up and oh, you'll be good to go. Thing, yeah. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Enjoy the rest guys. of your weekend. Thanks.